Hey, Bulls and Bears, you are watching Bull Boom Bear Bust. It is Friday, July 1st, 2022. Thank you for being here. We've got a lot of economic, financial, and market news to get into today. And I want to thank everybody for your support. I got some shout outs to give out at the end for people that have supported me and my work here on this channel. I really appreciate it. Well, let's talk about the top news today, starting with the markets. The markets starting off the second half of the year, the official kickoff of the first uh, or the third quarter rather 2022 in the green look at that i wonder who's buying all these stocks well we're going to talk about who's buying something uh, some big things here in just a few minutes s p dow nasdaq russell all in the green today right around a one percent gain in all of these indexes and yes the buyer and lender of last resort is in there buying stocks and also suppressing rates and if we look at the 10-year yield we'll see what's happening the 10-year yield has been dropping um, quite a bit. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick here. And if we look at a chart here, we see that we've come down quite a bit on this yield. And this is going to also tell us what's happening with the mortgage rates. Well, we did see the spike on the 10-year yield as high as about 3.48. Uh, that was a very big spike, but then we see it drop since then. Now it could go up again. As you see, it goes up and down. Uh, that last spike, though, put us at more than a 10-year high. And that's one of the reasons why we saw the big uptick in mortgage rates. It's this type of thing, though, is the reason why I told you that the housing market will not crash. They're not just going to let mortgage rates spike uncontrollably. It's going to be a controlled decline. I won't call it a crash or a collapse. It's going to be a controlled decline in the housing market uh, certainly not a crash now all the people that are predicting uh, they've been predicting crashes uh, or a crash in the housing market for many years uh, and it still hasn't happened because they don't understand uh, something as simple as this the 10-year bond and the manipulation and the purchases that are happening behind the scenes in order to control the uh, mortgage rates and interest rates now people often ask you know why don't they just let it go why do they have to keep bringing it up letting it go down bringing it up letting it go down, uh, letting it go down well one thing that it does it does a few things one thing that it does is it gives people a false sense of complacency so they'll see some green days in the market they'll say okay we're at a bottom now i see this recovery only to fall back down again the following week or the week after that and that's known as a downtrend. You see a little bit of upward motion. It goes down, up, down, up, down. But overall, the highs get lower and the lowers get lower. And that's basically called a downtrend. So it suckers people into the market because they think that the, uh, that the drop, they think that the bear market is over. But really, it's just up and down movement in an overall downward trend. Now, the second thing that it does is it allows insiders to get in and out and they time these movements. So it allows the insiders to get in and uh, more easily uh, make those trades to time those up and downward movements. Now, how can we use this to our advantage? Well, what you do is you wait until the central banks talk about cutting rates and re-implementing more QE. I do expect that to happen later this year after we see so much economic fallout and job losses, I think they're gonna be backed into a corner. And these hikes now and rising rates and this uh, shedding of the balance sheet, I think it's just giving them a little ammo to do cuts later this year and re-implement QE. And that's when we'll see probably markets and other assets start to skyrocket upwards as well. Now let's change topics a little bit, but it sort of has to do with markets because you would think that with so many people losing money in the stock market, uh, billions of dollars overall, uh, some people see their retirement accounts down 20, 30, 40%. You would think that people would be pulling back on the holiday travel. Well, it's expected to, to be another record breaking year. Even with the gas prices, another record breaking year for 4th of July. People are just going to do and they're going to have fun no matter what, no matter how much debt they have, no matter how high gas prices get. As long as the credit card company is going to give them more to spend, uh, people are going to swipe their cards. That should be pretty obvious. But let's take a look at a recent report here on this. A record 42 million Americans traveling by car over the 4th of July weekend. How broke do people have to get? We're already in record levels of debt. 
uh, collectively, people are in record levels of debt. Remember, seven out of 10 people are in the most debt right now than they've ever been at any time in their life. But uh, this is another record and people will continue to take on debt to do what they like to do. People are gonna travel. Um, old habits are hard to break and that's what's gonna be so difficult about this upcoming economic collapse. Americans are so used to getting what they want anytime they want. They're so used to doing what they want anytime they want traveling, spending money, going on shopping trips. Even people that file bankruptcy, I've heard reports where they get a new credit card just a month or two after filing bankruptcy. And actually on that topic, there's a little bit of a trick. If you file bankruptcy and you have a credit card with a zero balance, if you don't report the bankruptcy to that card, they may keep the card open because if you have no balance to charge off in, in the bankruptcy, they may never find out. Now they could still find out in other ways, but if you keep a zero balance on a credit card, even after filing bankruptcy, you still could ha have that card to use even after the bankruptcy goes through. But even without that, I know people that are still getting credit cards after filing bankruptcy. Now that's one of the things I talk about at my job. So I have a pretty good gauge on um, the number of people filing bankruptcy, people's financial situations. Um, my professional career is in financial, so I talk to people about their finances. Uh, and all their household expenses, uh, everything from insurance to uh, their car payments, etc., uh, mortgage payments. And uh, so I've got a pretty good gauge just over the years of the types of um, uh, the mindset that people have when it comes to spending money. Uh, people are still out taking their RVs out, their motorhomes, even with these outrageous fuel prices. It's not stopping people from traveling, as you saw just in that recent article. Another record-breaking year for 4th of July travel. Now, some of this is pent-up demand from 2020 where everyone was on shutdown and lockdown. And uh, so there is still some pent-up demand from that. And people are still recovering from that. Uh, but how much longer can this last at these prices? Uh, I think people are going to be forced to cut back at some point. But uh, people won't pull back until it's too late. People are being fed the line that these... Uh, rising costs at this inflation it's all temporary everything's going to be fixed we're going to go back to normal uh, and i've got bad news and i think most of you probably agree with me by now we're not going back to normal the new normal is abnormal uh the new normal is people are maxing out on their credit cards it's only a matter of time uh will banks get fed endless bailouts to continuously rise um to keep to continuously uh, increase everybody's credit line uh, well, it's possible, but I don't think so. I think at some point um, you're going to see a stoppage of all, of all of this lending and uh, things are going to come down pretty hard. The difficult part of this is the timing. No one knows the exact timing, but if you look back over the past few years, just about everything we talked about is coming true. And uh, I think you're going to be shocked at what's going to happen with the economy, with the financial system, uh, with this um, enormous levels of debt that people are under. And uh, this country is going down and not in a good way. Um, it's not going down price-wise. The prices would crash and get it over with, and we can pick up the pieces and, uh, and rebuild. Uh, but we've got a lot of big uh, things to worry about here, so continue to stack to continue to prepare. Um, some of the diesel uh, shortages, uh, when trucks stop running because diesel prices skyrocket out of control, uh, that's when you're going to start seeing the, um, the, uh, the start. Of, uh, of Mad Max society and I think we're not too far from that now uh, so everybody keep stacking hope you're well uh, quick shout outs here to people that have given me support thank you very much to the following people thank you so much to the following Greg Johnson Christopher Quinn Josh Martin Pasha I'm not sure how to pronounce that P-A-C-H-A -A. thank you very much uh, Maria Timmy uh, that's Timmy Turner and Dan uh, thank you all very much. Now, this channel is not growing, so I really appreciate all your support. There's a super thanks button down there for people that like to throw out some support. Uh, buy me a cup of coffee, give me a tip. Uh, even ask me a question. I'll definitely see your comment, you know, if you use that uh, feature down there. Also, you can find me over at Patreon at the following address if you'd like to support the channel. I just put out another video a couple days ago over there. We get into a little bit of uh, things that we don't get into here in this channel, so if you'd like to support me, or get additional content, feel free to support me over there at uh, that link that you see right here. Uh, thank you all very much. Hope everybody has a good holiday. You'll probably see me at some point on the holiday weekend. It'll probably be an outdoor camera type of um, a video. 
just to give you guys a, a chat and get updated on some things. But we'll talk to everybody very, very soon. Hope you're all well. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now. Keep stacking. Um, be careful out there. Peace.